Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So I'm here today for Flip Through Friday with this journal that I've just completed, The Keeper of Moths, kind of a moth fairy tale. Um, so this journal was created inside of a vintage book from 1901 that had an absolutely beautiful cover that's embossed and gilded. These digitals that I've used in this book, or the theme rather, is one about sort of the magic of moths and it's from um, a digital series that I created as part of 12 days of digital art that I provided to my Patreons. So you're going to see lots of the themes of these moths. This is maybe the main character of this particular um, series, uh, this digital collection, and then we have some little moths here. So I did do one process video working on the cover. Um, where I gilded around here. The cover has been covered in lace. I had decided I wanted to finally cover it after kind of debating back and forth if I only wanted to cover the top, but I liked kind of the, I don't know, like the attic -y feel that it gives this book. So then I've added this really fun, um, spine dangle that's in two different eyelets and it's some beaded necklace um, with beautiful beads and then I have crocheted a little moth here to go along with this moth theme. You'll also see um, the digitals in the collection. There's a couple that are specifically around um, the theme of like a knitted moth so I wanted to include a little bit of knitting or crochet. I've added some gilding wax um, to various parts of the book to just kind of give it a little bit more magic. Um, the closure is via gold eyelets and this is some coffee dyed um, ribbon lace that's cotton. It's very beautiful and it's just been slip knotted um, into the eyelets. So this is a three signature journal. When we open it on up here, um, you will see I've used my eco dyed fabric back here to line the spine and inside the end papers are these beautiful um, kind of I was thinking about the concept of lanterns and moths and moth to a flame and all of that kind of moths and the temptation of light so I wanted to use something that was kind of representative of light so that's what the papers here are and then I've added this little moon type pocket with a little moth there and just a couple fun little bits of 49 and market ephemera um, just extra writing space that I've added a couple of their little mothy butterfly type um, bits too. So at the front here, we open up to a beautiful page from 49 and Market, a rusty paper clip holding this kind of tattered vintage, real vintage postcard. Um, I don't know, it's from Chicago. I don't know the exact, um, the exact date. So it says making believe. And I've added a couple little moths and a little bit of um, yellow light around them in this image. And then here we begin to jump into um, my collection. So the digitals throughout here are all mine. Um, so this little pocket here, let me take this off. So this is the back of the 49 market paper. And then this is my image here of this little grouping of moths. And we have a pocket that's been um, created with this kind of moon type paper. And this says stop along the way. And this is the journal card from my collection that just pops in here. Um, you'll see lots of dyed papers in here. This is a, a, a page that I dyed quite some time ago with like a gray mauve kind of um, color that I quite like how it turned out. And I've stitched some beautiful eyelet lace down the side. This side we have, this is some green lace paper. These two images are both from my collection, this moth atop a jar, like a lantern jar, and um, this kind of mistress of moths. And I have cut out petals here from different papers. Um, some I've just dyed some book page and the other is from Inked Paper Art on Etsy. It's her coffee lace dyed paper. So I've cut petals from that and just created a bit of a length to this journal card. And it is on dissolved National Geographic paper. Then next page we have another of those lovely pockets um, with the moon type theme in the moth. And this is another image, a journal card from my collection. 
and that just pops in here. And then we have some coffee dyed paper and a silken organ, sorry, not silk, it is viscose and organza tab. Um, and then this page is from Inked Paper Art on Etsy. This is another of my dyed pages with some eyelet lace. And then down the side here we have some um, little mothy and botanical images. And then I just love this sparkle, this kind of sparkle webbing. I just think it adds a little bit of magic. So I've included a page right here. This is some of my botanically dyed paper, all rusty and lots of fun leaf. These are rose leaves. This is rose petals and rust, um, the pages in this. This is another of my images on an inked page. Uh, this is the center of the first signature, and this is like a cross-stitch um, imagery of moths. And this is another of my images, and it's a little tip out. Um, this little mothy lantern and this image are both mine from my collection, this Luna moth, and I've um, added some of my hand spun yarn and some silvery ribbon that hangs down in the front on this paper, and then on back it's a journal card, and this is some more of my eco printed paper. You can see a lot of petals there, and that just tucks in there. And um, another of the sparkly web pages, um, more of my dyed paper, and I have um, cinched some eco printed fabric down the side that's a cotton, and just some grass here, and more of the beautiful paper from Inked Paper Art. This is a little a bow made from grass um, paper, but it, it's to look like grass on coffee dyed paper. And then this little moth is a tuck spot on National Geographic dissolved paper with this little journal card. This side we have this beautiful botanical, more eyelet lace. Um, this is another image from my collection. And this is another image from my collection. And I just kind of collaged with some of my grungy um, eco printed paper for this journal tag. And then this is another image, a journal card from my collection, and I've clipped it onto a 49 and market page. Um, this little tuck spot and this journal card are both from my collection. So this again is kind of our main character, the keeper of moths. And um, this is a moon that I created with a rusty can lid when I was doing the eco printing process. This is some of my tea dyed uh, wedding dress lace here. It's beaded and quite beautiful with sequins, some old book spine and a botanical paper pasted down here. Another botanical paper here on dyed paper. This is 49 market paper. Um, and this is a side tuck that has a journal card inside with one of my watercolor moth images from my collection. been stitched all around. This is some more coffee dyed paper with another of the viscose organza tabs. Um, this moth image is from my collection and this is some alcohol ink dyed scrapbook paper and this is another image from my collection and this is um, a journal card. And that just pops on in here. There we go. And then some botanicals here. This is another image from my collection and some old book spine. And I just drew some raindrops here on this dyed paper. This watercolor moth is from my collection and it says, out of sight, a temptation to resist. And it's kind of like talking about light, I think. And the moth's complex relationship to light is what I was thinking about. And then this grungy paper here. This is an image from my collection and some alcohol ink dyed scrapbook paper to make this journal tag that says whirl the leaves and flocks of brown and see their brown moths. Some dyed papers. This is a poem that I just thought was quite lovely um, and I wanted to add it to this book. I'll read it to you. Muse in the Overgrowth. 
Six autumns now this green gold sky has burnt behind the towering poplars, lilac flames reducing apple growth to fluffy ash, gaunt, summer's lopsided tangles sorted six hard blames. I've blamed myself for letting summer win, throwing my hand, saw, sickle, mower in, to clear the streams of cress, only to see musk cover it instead, inedible yellow pretty. The cress has fattened birds we never eat, pruning has fattened apples for the lofts, to lie and rot there, grass meant for meat, abandoned by the geese, grows to coarse tufts. The only profit in this scrubby patch we call the orchard is my evening days. Here, where the owl planes through, I hatch like the spring-bound geese in fertile eggs, today's. The same as those dazed here, year and gone, apple shoots piping in the fire, nutwood, curling and crackling the bonfire smoke cloud, brown in streaming layers under night's settling hood. A girl walks here who's all my heroines and gestures slightly of a life of sorrow. But whether gone or here or of tomorrow, I never know each dead leaf whispers of her ruins. The sings and sings so in the fire, each splitting cry, her elegy always comes to me, her neckcloth disarrayed, her raincoat dry, or sprinkled on a fine September day. While children play or quarrel, I look up, and there she is. No, not my wife, for she can stand beside her, our full cup. In her bright, eager eyes, the other does not flee but sadly paces in the shadows, face cast down, withholding her from lips what she might say. And yet I know, I know the willows turning gray. This emerald, this foison will soon turn brown. I can dismiss her as the sun goes down, leaving a gold flare in the sky to fade, rapidly here where the ivy festoons lure, drown her implicit melancholy, my untidy glade. I dream I'm rich enough to clear dozens of men, sweat at the level, mud excavator rule, the mill race, build a wall, the land is mine, make it a lake, a greensward, and a pool, and banish her, and nature, heron, owl, the kingfisher, my bonfires, wretched trees that never fruit, the nettles, muddle, mole, but as I leave the embers in the dark, I know how little it would please. So I just thought that was an interesting poem. I felt like it was kind of like a battle with nature, a battle with life, nature's battle with life, but surrounded just by a lot of beauty like this leaf here. Um, and you know, it's the complexities of how different beings go through life. And that I think is a little bit of an inspiration to me in this book that I felt like would be just nice to include. Um, then some more of my dyed paper. This is like a little booklet with my images that, um, of these sort of majestic Luna type moths. And that's writing space. It's been watercolored on back. It's on one of my botanically dyed pages. Um, then just a rusty paper clip there. Another of my dyed pages and then some botanical paste down there. Another um, little journal card on alcohol ink paper from my collection. Kind of a light moth. This is some beautiful coffee dyed paper. A uh, little pocket here with the moth and then um, this journal tag inside that says no ordinary traveler and it has some ink um, alcohol ink paper, book spine, um, some an Angelina sparkle that I have heat bonded down with some threads and um, this is a watercolor uh, moth image from my collection. And on back it is painted green. A little moth here on the painted paper, more of my eco printed paper. Um, these are all images from my collection. So the first is this little girl holding this lantern and she's got moth wings and this kind of cat like moth. I was looking at just the the similarities of the looks of like the faces of these woolly bear type moths and, and bats and cats and, it, and owls and it all came together to make them feel like sort of familial. It was quite an interesting little you know, conceptual art thing that I was working through. Um, so then there's this, this bit of book spine here and some crochet. Um, this is sea, um, sea silk. So it's silk and, um, like a seaweed wool type, not wool, but, um, it's called sea cell. It's a man-made fiber made from seaweed. That's very, very beautiful. 
and shiny. Um, and then this is a little pocket here. And we see the first of our little, our little fiber art moths, our little knitted moths. And we have like a knitted lantern light. And um, I've added some vintage crochet down here just on the pocket itself. This is alcohol ink paper. This is another image from my kit. And this is for the last of the black shadows. And so that's sort of like another little storyline that I've weave, woven in there. Um, then we have some crochet lace here that's made from a beautiful silk and some ivy leaf. This pocket is an image from my kid, another of the keeper of the moth type images. And we have, um, this was a piece of scrapbook paper that had stamps of butterflies and moths on it. This is a tag that I made with one of my images. It says a shadow passed over high up in the sky, a game of hunt and dodge, keeping very quiet. That's a journal tag. And then we have little moths here, sort of like in the light, in the dark, and then the page has more light with inks. Um, this is a botanically dyed page with viscous and organza tab. Um, these images are both from my kit. So this little pocket here with this girl sort of whispering to a large moth with a lantern. And then we have this watercolor moth image as well on some 49 market paper. And I've covered the back with dyed paper as well. And then this is an eco printed page that has this lovely free form kind of hole. This is one of the beautiful effects of doing boiled book bundles is that sometimes you get a tattered hole where something has either gotten too hot or it, it has just been pressed against a piece of rusty metal that pokes a hole. And I love to use them as these peekaboos. So here we see another image from my kit. Um, you can see the eye there. And um, it's just this girl with a moth and the moons and um, it's a little tip out on National Geographic paper that's been dissolved. This is 49 in market paper. I've made it into like a tuck spot and we have um, this little image of mine with the moth and the lantern. This is another image of mine on alcohol ink dye paper with the moth and lantern and I've added some iridescent um, wax to that so you can see the iridescence hopefully there in the light. Uh, this is another image from my kit, another keeper of the moths. He's quite magical. And I've added the same organza that is iridescent and um, viscose to the back. It's like a wrinkly blue, steely blue viscose. And it's a pocket. And it has this image from my kit. This is a journal card. And then we have another of the cross stitch moth pages and another moth from my kit and some sort of shadowing there. Another 49 in market paper. And then another of our little knitted moths. So you see the, the lantern is knitted, the moth is knitted. Um, then inside I've added this. This is um, a journal card from a scrapbook paper. I forget the, written, the name of it, but I just quite liked the whole feel of it. Added some threads and Angelina on top for a bit of sparkle. And it is a journal tag. And then a dissolved National Geographic page. These images are both from my kit. So this is a little um, moth with the moons and some like moon flowers. And then we have another moth on this journal tag. And this is on boiled book page, eco, eco rust printed paper. Uh, another image from my kit on the boiled book and another image from my kit. Um, on this side we have a pocket with another image from my kit and it's on that same um, stamp paper with all the butterflies and moths and this is an image from my collection of this um, moth girl here and it is a journal tag and then another dyed paper and here I just made some did some inking to kind of look like um, just a shadowy moon. This is the last page and another image from my kit of these woolly bear kind of moths. And this is a journal card with um, this moth from my kit. It's on alcohol ink dyed paper. And then we've reached the end where you see my little seal here. It's a little wax seal with Studio Lou. And that is the end of 
the Moth Keeper Fairy Tale Journal. So hopefully you enjoyed this flip through. If you are interested in this journal, it will be up in my Etsy shop if you're seeing this video. Um, I really enjoyed this journal. I, I'm still enjoying it. In fact, I'm sort of looking at it thinking, I don't want to give you up, but I do think that it will make someone happy. I think it's a lovely little book. Um, a nice little bedside book or a book to sit outside when the weather is lovely and just maybe at night even on your on your porch with a candle and just kind of write about your dreams or something right so it's it has that feel to it so that is the moth keeper thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you're doing well and we'll talk again soon bye for now